So, all right, guys. Let's get to it. I just got out of the theater and watched Star Wars The Last Jedi. All right. And if you guys don't know, this is the second installment of the uh, new trilogy. The sequel to Force Awakens, right? Now, warning ahead, this is a spoiler review. Now, with my point aside, I will be going on a small rant. Take it as you will, but I'm still a supporter of the franchise and all the characters in, in this whole universe. I will still have a deep love for it in my heart and will, and will forever until I die, right? But what? Spoiler ahead, alright? But what? Oh, and, and? This video will contain mature content such as cussing and etc. So if you guys do not want to hear none of this vulgar words, please click that exit button. But before you leave, subscribe and like, right? You don't want to leave me hanging without the support. But guys, what the hell was this? Snoke is dead. Yoda appears. The Jedi tree is on fire. Luke Skywalker is a, a, a force ghost. He dead. Uh, Leia was about to die, but she went. She was uh, flying through space. I don't know what the force she was pulling herself back to the spaceship while she was almost frozen to death in space. How you gonna tell me what the hell is going on? Now, the movie is broken in three parts, as I've seen. You got Ray's part of the story, which is with Luke Skywalker. You have the second part, which is the Rebels Alliance, which is the part. So, the second part. And you got the third part, which is the conclusion, in my opinion. And they all lead, uh, they all lead in, well, not the conclusion. The conclusion is last. I'll say Ray's um, Rebels, and you got the First Order, the Republic. They all meet up together at the end somehow. You have Ray, you no, know, you have Finn and Rose looking for the Code Breaker, Benicio de Toto's character, all right? They're looking for the Code Breaker because you, the First Order has the Rebel Alliance. They're following their booty through space. They're tracking them through, um, she, I forgot the word, but they're, they're on their ass. They're traveling, so the Rebels have to escape because the First Order is smacking them. Bah, bah, bah. Dead people everywhere. And Leia was about to be dead, but she forced, you know, like I said before, she was like, has some magnet powers. She has the force course, but she was pulling herself back to the spaceship while almost frozen to death in space. All right. And then you have Luke, Rey's and Luke Skywalker's part, which is pretty good in my opinion. And, but, ugh, we so many questions that we had from the first one. And no answers, just more questions. All right, guys. More questions, no answers. And and Ray and Finn, I mean Ray and um Kylo had to think. I thought they were gonna get a little jiggy with it, you know what I'm saying? But no, Ray had to be a little mm, push him away. They had the moments in the movies where I thought, ooh, Kylo Ren and Ray are, are gonna be a pair. They're gonna do something good. Now there is a part in the movie where Kylo Ren and Ray do fight hand in hand against Snoke, and they and Kylo Ren kills Snoke. Ray doesn't. Ray is a distraction, basically. Kylo Ren does all the action. But then, once the fight is all over, Kylo Ren reaches out for Ray, and I thought, you know, she was going to say yes. But no, she had to be a mad, she had to be a bad bitch, and refuse my man Kylo Ren. Why do you have to do it like that? I'm talking to the camera. Come here, come here. What do you think about the movie? All right, close the door then. Close the door then. That was my brother, I took him to the movies. And he'll give his opinion another day. But my opinion at the moment is, what the hell? Man, none of my questions was answered. Snoke. Who the hell is Snoke still? The man did shoot some lightning out of his hands, but nobody knows what happened to him. Besides being cut in half like uh, Darth Maul. That's the only thing I could think about. Maybe he's Darth Maul because he was cut in half the same way. Now, Ray's parents. Who does still Ray's parents? Obi-Wan Kenobi? That's the only Cody Bob Kenobi or her or parents that just threw her down there where she were deserters and stuff like that. That's it. That's it. Man. Oof. And then Leia was about to die three times. She survived the movie, but she's probably going to be, you know, since she did pass away. Rest in peace, Princess Leia Carrie Fisher. But in movie-wise, she's still alive, so I want to see what they're going to do with that. Also, Kylo Ren... And Luke face off. 
Now I'm thinking this is a battle of the century. Popeye, they going at it. Luke Skywalker's dodging all these uh, blows that's Kylo coming. And you find out Kylo Ren is fighting a force ghost. Luke is meditating from the island out of nothing. Like he's levitating like Avatar the Last Airbender. And he draws down back. And then you see Kylo stab him and he just disappears. Not like no Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 4. Nah, he does that later on when he becomes a ghost force. He just senses, he senses Ray, he senses Carrie Fisher. Almost at the end of the movie, he sees the sun, he sees this beauty, beautiful scenery of orange and red skies levitating and he just disappears. Now, Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 4 moment, which almost broke my heart, but man, so much more questions and I need my answers. We have to wait two more years. Now, I love this franchise and always will be and I always will. No discussing that, but I had to go on a little rant. Now, I will support this movie 100%. Why? Because I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it, my bad. And I still enjoyed it to the point where I would go watch it again. But, man, what the hell? Oh, and Yoda popped up. While as Ky while Luke, Wa Luke Skywalker was about to put the Jedi tree on fire, but, you know, Luke Skywalker, he resisted a little bit. So, Yoda came out of nowhere got all the nature energies and threw some lightning on that tree and said you're gonna burn today and then Yoda and Luke Skywalker had a little chat and they talk about something something about we as masters take on the burden right and Yoda had the old school he was a CGI he was an old school doll flow episodes 2 and 3 episodes 2 my bad flow with the old raggedy ears and everything which was on point and beautiful but man come on Yoda no training Ray like everybody thought. Oh. Oh my god. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Oh my god, you got me fucked up. Ah, look at this, look at this hoodie I wore. This is the color of the sky that Luke Skywalker was looking at before he disappeared into the goddamn ghost zone. Man. I'm saddened <laughs> that we have to wait two more years for this bullshit. But man, this movie was beautiful. <laughs> it tickled me in all the right places. But on a serious note, the movie was amazing. But I will leave it at this. Go watch it. Support it 100%. You will enjoy it, but you're going to come out with more answers and less, an less questions. More questions, less answers that we thought we were going to get. We didn't get no answers from the last one. Nothing. Zip. Nada. What the hell? That's some crappy ass shit, if you tell me. But you know what? Like I said, I'm not a hater. I'm a lover. And I support this 100%. Because I want to be a part of this franchise one day, either from the TV series, etc., etc. Because I am an up-and-coming actor. I want to be a part of this franchise, but if you're going to pull some bullshit like this on me again, I'm man, I'm going to drop all this shit all out and peek back and forth. Now I'm playing. But I will be on this show or this movie franchise one day as an extra or whatever. I will be in this movie franchise one day or TV series, whatever they do later on in the road. But, man, come on. How you going to do this to me? <laughs> My heart was broken and shit. I was like, I was looking at I thought Kyle and Ray were going to fuck for a second. Real deal. They had a moment where they were seeing each other in two different planets. Like, they're a far away galaxy type of thing. And they touch, sense of touch, like, through the force. And they felt each other. They almost came, both of them. You see the expressions, like, ooh, some sweating a little bit, too. And you should have seen Kylo Ren. He had a point where he, once they were over with that uh, the whole scenario, he wiped himself and he had some water drips. He was sweating, man. He he was feeling all types of way for Ky uh, Ray. Man, and Finn got a new boo. He love, he yellow fever right now, guys. Rose? Mm. But I don't know, it might be a just one side thing. Rose might like him. Finn might not, but Finn, you know, got a thing for Ray. And, and Poe finally introduced himself to Ray. And they had, like, they had a little thing going on. But, you know, I just want to see what's going to happen in the third installment. The Last Jedi was good. And also, Ray. Luke was trying to end the whole Jedi Order, and so was Kylo. Kylo wants to destroy everything. Jedi, Sith, 
graze, whatever. He wants to start something brand new and fresh off the table. And so did Luke Skywalker, but just the Jedi part. And then, once the Tree of Life was destroyed also, all the books, the old Jedi texts were in there that got destroyed. But if, realizing at the end, and there was a lot of improv and like everybody was saying this in the movie, that Jerry's the next Jedi. Ray took all the damn Jedi books. All the old texts and everything. And Luke Skywalker thought they were destroyed. He ain't never going to find out. He ain't never going to find out. But man. I enjoyed it though. Kylo Ren trying to, try, Kylo Ren trying to start something fresh. Out of nowhere that we don't expect. No Sith, no Jedi, no nothing. Something fresh that Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren wants to do. And he wanted Rey to join. Which was cool in my opinion. She almost joined. She probably will be. She will join the third storm. You never know. But looks like Rey will become a Jedi. No no dark side turn for her anytime soon at the moment. Luke Skywalker dead. Uh, Benicio Thotokara was pretty cool. A.K.A. Code Breaker. He can hack into anything. But he left the, the movie being. He went back on the Republic rebels and went back to the first order but if you guys want another video of a deeper discussion this is my current rant right fresh out of my mind right at the theater keep please comment and like below and let me know if you want a more detailed review in this of this whole movie which i give a i'll say 10 out of 10 but i would say 8 or 9 out of 10 because i want more answers no i want more questions from my answers you know what i'm saying these questions that I have was not answered at all, okay? But, why you have to do this to me? Why you have to do this to me? <laughs> why you have to do this? Let me put my shades back on. <sighs> back at it. All right, guys, I'll see you another day. Keep an eye out for my other reviews and reaction videos and gameplays. I will be back at it again. And you can see myself in the mirror. Ooh, Inception. But, guys, please. <laughs> <laughs> this was just a small rant. Don't take anything too seriously. It's just my deep thoughts. And I do love the franchise and series and hope to be a part of it one day. But guys, I appreciate you guys clicking on my this video and looking at me rain go crazy for a second. But milk and potatoes MMP is out, baby. See you guys in the, end of the day.